Hong Kong returned to Chinese rule back in 1997 and was supposed to have its freedoms preserved for 50 years after that. So why did a recent survey find that an overwhelming majority of Hong Kong residents would rather be back under British rule? Nine out of ten Hong Kong residents say they would rather return to British rule, according to an online poll by local newspaper The South China Morning Post. Last Thursday's survey underlines a growing frustration with the Chinese Communist Party's intervention in Hong Kong's affairs. The poll result is being called the inner wishes of Hong Kong residents. Lots of people have said no to the CCP's united front tactics and to its one country, two systems policy. So no matter whether Hong Kong will be voted to re-establish itself as a British colony or to declare its independence or to separately develop itself in the future, it will only be a reflection of the Hong Kong people's opposition to the CCP, a sort of resistance. They want to choose their own path. I think it was a very normal reaction. Before Hong Kong's return to the mainland in 1997, the Chinese regime promised the former British colony a high degree of autonomy. This included allowing Hong Kong to keep its system of government for 50 years, but not everyone thinks this happened. The universal suffrage it promised has been postponed again and again. Its content has also been changed. So many promises it made have now become lip service. In their daily lives, the Hong Kong people have come to discern the CCP's true face. They have understood that Hong Kong is now like a frog in warm water, gradually becoming a new colony under CCP rule. Zhang believes Hong Kong residents are seeing a parallel with what happened to Tibet, and they don't like what they see. The people of Hong Kong have realized that their original status, political rights and real life have undergone tremendous changes. So they've awakened now that today's Tibet is Hong Kong's tomorrow. Tibet has undergone so much brutal persecution, which is intolerable to the Hong Kong people, I think. Anti-Beijing sentiments rose sharply in Hong Kong last year, after Liang Chunyin took over as the region's chief executive. His critics say he's a puppet of the Chinese regime and is allowing communist influences to move in on Hong Kong. On Monday, China's new leaders Xi Jinping and Li Keqiang endorsed the work of Liang and called for the Hong Kong public to support his administration.